What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crashlander survival and today we're going to actually fix up the watering system and we're going to test to see if the watering system works better with one of those vacuum pump inline setup things. So I actually fixed the ramp, a lot of you guys said I should make the ramp a little bit wider. I did, I took out some blocks in the middle and made it sort of wider on both sides. Not that it really matters, but you know, we have the space to do it, so we might as well and uh, there we go, perfect. A lot of people said too, they were asking why I didn't use pistons for the ramp and I was like, well, you know, the answer is really simple. This took like, what, four component kits to upgrade that controller, maybe? Whereas one level five piston takes like 12 component kits, I think, because you need two to build it and then 10 to upgrade it to max, or maybe even more than that. Either way, it's just, it's not component kit friendly to uh, to use pistons. So I decided not to, and uh, of course I did it with a simple sort of double bearing setup mechanism. Right, our chests are still in the desert. Uh, I'll have to go back to that at some point in time once we get some component kits. But anyway, today we're going to do some cool stuff. So, uh, we got to build one of these. Um, where the heck is it? We need to build one of these guys right here. So, we need a vacuum pump to do that. We need three circuits to do that. So, that builds us two, four circuits. And then we're going to build one of these. And then we're going to build one of those. And that should all be good. We're going to need another chest, which I don't really have. So, we're going to just try and steal. There we go. We got four of these. So we're just going to steal, oh, that chest had stuff in it. Is there an empty chest here? One of these should be, okay, this one we can empty out. There we go. We'll just dump all that in there, and then we'll connect this up. Excellent. We'll have to fill that in at some point. There is a chest in the desert, um, but the theory is now that we should be able to remove a bunch of this watering system. We're going to take that and completely bring it down. It's not going to go nearly this high, because uh, this is just a phenomenal waste of, wait, you know what? Hold on. Let's turn this off first. There we go. Let's turn that off. Let's take this. Let's dump all the water out. We'll put that in our crafting. And yeah, the idea is that we can use only one of these water containers with a pump coming out of a chest and it should be more than enough to keep up with the entire sprinkler system according to what my understanding is from the comments. So we're just going to fill this chest with the stuff we need. It'll be that. It'll be that. Uh, we'll put those in there. These containers should be I guess we'll just put them on the ground for now, but like they should be just extras. Uh, and then the rest of this water we'll just dump into here because it can just become crafting material. I'm just trying to get all the crafting done like as soon as I can. And then that way we can get onto the other stuff. But here's, um, oh, hold on. I got to go measure the stupid water. You know, we can just bring this downstairs. So this we're going to reattach because I don't want to have to re put down all these pumps. And this works great. And then we'll build a little. Uh, rail out of concrete underneath this so this is going to attach from this side and it's going to go that way just because we don't have space on the rock so the first one has to line up in the center of these uh and then that would be one okay oh my god this is going to be very difficult to do so it's in the center here it's actually lined up horizontally now we just need to go back like what two blocks from this point so Oh god, how am I gonna... Something... Okay, so like that, and then it just needs to be... Yeah, no, this is really... This is really scientific. What if I go... Let's just do a guess. Let's check there. Is that close enough if I put this here? I think that's right. I think that's actually... If this wasn't sagging, I'm pretty sure that's in the right spot. Okay, so then we just take this, break all that off, and then attach this guy... To the front of that perfect and then we just got to go and support this with our lift because it's gonna sag whoops not not too much we got to be careful here we got to jam it up against the roof and then we got to build ourselves a little uh, concrete rail system which I think goes here nope this way like that Right? Perfect. And then we do the same on this side. Put that there. And then this goes this way. Alright, done. And then we just extend this all the way over. And then we gotta put holes on the other side. So let's just go, let's just honestly go all the way to there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then same thing on this side. And then yeah, we need holes on the one side where the sensor is. And then that way the watering system should all work perfect. 
And what we can actually do, which I'm going to do for this for sure, is um, just hook the watering system up to a, day -night, a daylight sensor. You know, one of those timer blocks that we have. And my thought is that if we can have the timer block on throughout the day, then the watering system every morning will just water all the crops, no matter what. And then we don't have to think about it. It's just always going to do something. So I think that works. Let's put a... Oh, crud. I got to get a switch. But yeah, let's get a switch and test that. But I think that's good. And yeah, we'll just have a fully automatic... Um, daylight sensor system i don't know how that's going to actually work like if we're not in the chunk when it loads i don't really know um what that does this we can leave yeah that's to open the hatch that's fine well, let's get all this stuff get rid of all this is such a waste of like tubing because now we can just have it come up this way and then go over that way and we can build a little box like right here we'll just build a little metal box that has our uh, our sprinkler stuff in it the, uh, it doesn't, you know what, it doesn't even need to be a metal box. We can make a little concrete box. Just sort of cleaning up, you know, all the stuff that we need to clean up to get the, uh, the base in good condition. So that's perfect. Uh, need more of the concrete that I've got somewhere. In there, done. Excellent. We'll take some logic, grab a switch. Uh, let's build that filter pump, or the inline pump. There we go, done. The last of the component kits. Um, and then theoretically it goes vacuum pump to chest which fills the chest with water and then filter pump to water dispersion guy And then that goes to all the sprinklers and if we had a couple of switches I had switches I swear I need to organize my inventory. This is like getting excessive now. Let's grab the rest of that metal three a little bit more concrete there Do I not have switches? I swear I had two switches the old watering system had switches like, where did they go? I mean, we can steal this switch. We don't need that one anymore. But, like, where did the... What the... That's, like, that's incredibly weird. I'm going to build another switch here. But, like, we should have had... There were two on this, like, the pillar that came down here. What did I do? Oh, I used them here. Oh, that's right on the... St okay, never mind. Never mind. We're good. I was like, where the heck did those switches go? All right, so we're just going to build that down like that. That looks great. And this like this. You know, it's kind of a waste of concrete. I get it. We can do this. Make it save a little bit of concrete. Doesn't really matter. So this is probably going to go in that way. And then that feeds into our chest, which we'll go grab upstairs. And our filter pump. And then we'll wire it all. I really hope this works. If not, we'll just go back to the old method of having all three. Now that the watering system is, like, actually low enough, it should always grab the crops. That shouldn't be an issue. But, you know, I hope this works. This will save us a couple of watering containers. Although it's kind of... It's kind of weird to me because you're saving watering containers, which arguably are, are relatively cheap. Um, and you're doing that just to, you know, you, you save a couple watering containers, but then you cost yourself an extra large chest as well as a filter pump. So I don't know how much, you know, you're really saving. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. So there we go. So that goes like that. And then this pumps like this. And then that goes into our watering container, which should be in here. Like so. Uh, hello? Hello? doesn't matter like that that's fine perfect and then the only other issue with this is now if we want to get water for our crafting we have to come down here and grab the chest um i could move that you know what i'm gonna move this whole assembly a little closer and then it's gonna work great so we'll put that there we'll bring that you know what? two seconds and we'll have this fixed up all right perfect now it's all like sealed up in there we'll leave it open for now but then my thought is that you know, I can do, well, I can do this, like put a wall there, right? And now if we need to access the water pump or, you know, the containers for whatever reason, we can just come up here and look through this, you know, crack or whatever that we make, something like that, right? Just a little hole and we can get in here and grab the water out and whatever else we need to do. So that's perfect. Um, so now we got to connect that pump up to this thing and then just do a bunch of uh, wiring, which shouldn't be a big deal. So we got a million straight pieces now, which is perfect. So we'll just go all the way over like this. This one can probably come down here. Maybe that's the right distance. Uh, no, I need to be over one tiny little bit more. That's interesting, okay. It's like one block more, almost. Is it one or two? Well, we'll try one. It's kind of funny because I think I could flip. It's one. I could literally flip the chest in there and then it wouldn't be that extra bit. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. And then this needs to be like that. 
So like there, and then this one needs to come back a few like that. Perfect. And then we just need, I mean, we could do this honestly with a, with a T piece. I could do this. And then it just looks like the pipe is kind of, I don't know, weird supported. Doesn't really matter. That'll work. It works for now. Uh, we can always come back and replace it later, but that's hooked in. So now if we power up that pump with a not gate, which we should, because it should always just be running. So we'll put a not gate on there. We'll just hook a random logic gate into that. So that runs the pump, and the pump automatically should be filling the chest with a ton of water. Oh, it automatically, wait, this thing automatically runs? Huh? Do I not have to turn, I don't have to turn this on, it just, it just flows? Or do I have to, like, does that matter? That doesn't seem like this is any faster than just having three containers. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like having three containers is the same. This is the same speed. Like, okay, that's that, right? So this is now gonna fill. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that is, maybe that is lightning quick. It's okay. How do I actually check this? Um, what if we turn off? This is a weird thing to test. What if I turn this off? Okay, so now the pump's off. That's off. Everything's off. Okay, good. That pump's off too. So how fast does this fill this chest up? Oh, it's like instant. Oh, it does like big bat. It does like a whole stack. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it is important to have that. The pump will naturally flow, but then this thing does like a whole stack. So it just keeps that fully replenished. Okay, okay. This is, this is actually super cool. So then this whole system should be good to go. Just leave that covered up like that. And then all we gotta do is essentially wire this in to every single one of those. And it should be enough to, to power this whole thing up. Okay, this is gonna be sweet. This is actually really, really cool. So the, the filter pump, I guess, it does like a whole stack of something every, every pump interval, whatever the heck that interval is. And I guess if you're transporting stacks of blocks, it's probably doing the whole 256 blocks. And if you're doing water, it's doing a whole stack of water. I'm guessing that's what it does, which is why this is more efficient because these things will drain, you know, we've got what, like 20, what, 15? I think we have 15 uh, pumps. So we're going to drain, um, you know, almost a full stack of water every pump in. Or, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to keep up or not. It's going to be close if it does. Okay, so that's perfect. That's all set. Now the only thing we have to do is actually turn on the logic for this. So there should be a sensor right there I think it's right there pretty sure it's right next to this block there so let's go up top and check and then we just need to put a hole in the garage every three blocks I mean we could do this with color sensors but it should be right here yeah there's the sensor okay so then we just go uh, one two block one two block like that that and we just continue this whoops there we go and this is of course gonna trigger our water system to go Perfect. Done, 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 done. That one's too far. I think, I think this one's too far too. We'll find out. All right, so that's set up. And then we just need all of these hooked in. Um, right, I had some logic on this that I don't have anymore. So there needed to be an AND gate, I'm pretty sure to make sure that it was too, yeah. I think I think we gotta wire all these into an AND gate. And then the AND gate is set with the sensor and a switch. Um, yeah, I think that's how we did that. Hopefully this doesn't run out of water. If this runs out of water, I'm gonna go back to the three tank system. Cause yeah, it takes a while to recharge the three tanks, but they have enough water and total capacity to run the whole system uh, and it's fine. So let's put, for now, until we get the, uh, let's just do it on the wall here, I guess. Eventually, I'm gonna have to have, uh, yeah, we just need the one. But yeah, we're eventually gonna just set this up fully automatic. So that goes to there, perfect. That goes to also, this one goes to the pistons, right? Because we gotta prime the system first. And th the only reason we're doing this is because of that first lane. The systems have to wait until, like, this has to turn on first and then the pistons can go and then it can turn back off. It's fine, don't worry about it. it, it this all makes sense. And then this goes to the end gate. All right, so we turn on the water system first, which is that. Why did that not? 
Oh, right, right, right. The sensor's on a knot gate. The sensor's the sensor doesn't go straight to the A gate because the sensor doesn't see anything in the hole. Yeah, no, I get it. It goes to there and then it goes to there. All right, perfect. So that's on. That hit all the first ones. Excellent. So now we turn this on. And it works. It still missed? Bruh, you're only like... You're, you're like... You're not even 16 blocks above the... Are you serious? You still missed crop plots? Unbelievable. At least it can keep up though. To be fair, it's pretty good. It can keep up. Like it, it, you know, we can go back and forth a bunch of times. I think I got the right sensor number of hole. Oh, I think I put an extra hole. Let's just check. Where's the sensor lined up? Oh, I put an extra two holes. Okay. So we can take this out. But yeah, it works. It definitely works a lot better. How much water is this even like? It's oh, okay. So we did suck back a whole ton. This is a wicked system though. This is super efficient. You could use this for gas too. Like if we had a, a, a flyer, if I don't want to go the route of the infinite flyer, you could have just a big gas tank here and just suck gas into your actual like, you know, fuel tank that supplies the thrusters with one of these. That is, that's crazy good. I can't believe that keeps up as well as it does. And then the pump just keeps pumping forever. Yeah, like it's just rapid fire pumping. But that's just to actually fill up this chest which then gets sucked dry by the water system. All right, this is super cool. This is actually, this is wicked cool. We could turn on the watering, the primer. It's annoying to me though that it doesn't, um, doesn't guarantee that it hits them all, which is kind of, kind of a frustrating situation. But anyway, let's try hooking it up to an automatic uh, setup here. I'm gonna put a couple of switches here anyway. No, no, let's try it. Let's see if we can get a fully automatic version of this going and then we'll deal with the switches like if it has to be manual. So to do that, we need a timer. Um, we need one of, where is it? There's like a daylight alarm clock. Used to trigger interactables at certain time or wake yourself up with one of four different ringtones. Yeah, so that's what we need. We need one of those. We need a compact computer. So we need circuits and logic gates, which we need circuits and component. Everything needs circuits. All right, so let's just build like four circuits. We have a little bit of copper. We're almost out. But we need circuits, and we gotta build a compact computer. Circuits check, we need some component kits. Probably like four component kits. So there's that. And then we'll need a logic gate, which then lets us build a compact computer, and that builds us an alarm clock. That's all we need, right? That's a speed trigger, controller one, bearing limiter, exhaust, item frame. Yeah, no, I think it's just, I think it's literally just the alarm clock. Apparently the compact computer's got a lot of cool settings too. Like it has seven modes. So there's, there's stuff we can do with that as well, um, which I should really take a look at. Can I build another one? I'm gonna build another one just to look at. Oh, I don't have circuits. Well, we'll build two more circuits. Yeah, I wanna build one of these to look at on a different day. Apparently there's a lot of cool settings in this that I should really be messing with that uh, let us do all sorts of crazy stuff, especially for vehicle control. So if we're gonna look at building a proper flyer, I might I might have to look at what the functions of the compact computer are. And then there's the speed trigger too. So that's kind of interesting. You know, we can do some stuff with that as well. But anyway, let's build one of those for later, for research purposes. We got holes in our garage now, it's fine. It's just the way it is. Um, all right, so if I wanted to wire this up, I kind of want to do it over here in the uh, in the box of, of concrete here. This seems like a safe spot to do stuff. There we go. So, oh right. I guess I need to grab the parts that I craft if I actually want to wire something up. That would that would probably help. All right. So this is the alarm clock. So what does it do? Set time range. Set activation time range. The first number must be less than the second number. None. I don't want an alarm sound. Okay. Set time range. So I want it to water my crops. And so it's going to turn on. That's all it's gonna, it's gonna basically keep a logic signal on for the entire duration. So this will actually work if we're gone because as soon as we're gone, like it'll keep the signal on and then it'll turn it off and then on again. Yeah, so we just need, it does, as long as we make the range big enough and then when the signal's on, it just pushes the whole thing across once and that's like, that's it. And then it retracts it back. This is actually, this might be really easy. I just have to hook this into the pistons, don't I? and then just leave the water system always turned on. 
So we'll just do like, like literally something like this. So this sits here. It's our alarm clock, whatever. And then I need another logic gate, uh, just a single one. Although I can do, you know what? We can do this with a switch because we have a switch here. So we'll put a, we'll put a shut off switch here. And that means the water system's always on. But if we turn off this switch, we can emergency turn off the pump for whatever reason, if we ever want that capability. And then we put a logic gate here. And this is also a not gate. And same thing, this is the emergency shutoff for the water pumps on the sensors, if for whatever reason we don't want that to work. So there we go. So right now they'll always trigger. And then all we gotta do is set our alarm clock so that from, I don't know, let's say 4 a.m. Wait, how do I, oh, do I have to do like four, whoops, zero, oh, I, four, zero, zero? No, I don't want 40. 040, ah, I see, okay, I gotta do 24 hour time. So 040 to like, you know, I don't know, what's the second number, 1600? Sure. Oh, I don't want the classic, there we go, let's turn that off. Okay, so from four to 1600, this could honestly be from four to like 2359. Like even 20, 2359, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Cause essentially what's gonna happen is we just want the signal to be on throughout the whole day. And then, yeah, so that's that's on. And then this connects to um, all three pistons. Yeah, so, so now no matter what time we come back at, the system is gonna, it's always got water pumping. Okay. That's perfect. It's always got water pumping. And then it basically just pushes the watering system out to there. And then at whatever time it's going to be, um, what's the next one? 2359? Yeah, so at 2359, and then this could be like literally what? what? No, this isn't going to work, is it? My thought is this. It's really, sorry, I'm trying to, I know it's, I'm not really explaining anything that I'm talking about. My thought is this. I think it's pretty simple. So if we're outside of the chunk, all of our logic is off by default because that's that's how scrap mechanic works. When you're not in your base chunk, all your logic is zero. So that's why we've got all these not gates and stuff so that they automatically turn on the pump when we load back into the chunk. They automatically turn on the watering system when we load back into the chunk. And the alarm clock, if we leave the chunk during this time frame, like, let's go. We can actually go test it right now. Let's just completely leave the chunk. And I think the alarm clock will be off. We'll see when we come back to the chunk, the pistons will be retracted um, until that time. So my thought is that, like, the pistons, we want them to be fully extended. And then if we are in the chunk for more than 24 hours, they'll retract themselves for, like, eight minutes and then extend back out again. And every time they move, they're watering all the crops, right? So that's my thought. So if we leave this chunk, it should prove the point. We should leave this chunk and then come back to the base, the piston should be fully retracted and they should instantly deploy because the alarm clock is within the time frame that we've set. And that means the watering system will essentially make sure that every day, no matter what, even if we're growing or not, our crops are always 100% watered. We never have to turn it on. Um, and that's the idea. I don't know if we're far enough out of the chunk yet. I'm just gonna go up over this hill. But yeah, that's my thought. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that's gonna work. And it's just one less thing to worry about. We still need to do like an automatic collection system, but like realistically with that setup, it's gonna water the crops multiple times a day. So I think we went far enough away, right? Is it? Oh, it didn't lag. No, we did not go far enough away. All right, I'm just gonna head to the HQ. Oh, no, it did lag. Yeah, we definitely went far enough away. Okay, perfect. So it unloaded everything. And now if we come back in... No, the pistons are fully extended still. Hmm... Logistically though, will that matter? Like it's still going to... It's still gonna retract at 20. And then it's gonna stay retracted until 4 a.m. And every time it retracts or extends, it's watering everything. So I don't know... I don't think that matters. I think it'll be fine. No, yeah, I don't know. I, I, th I think this is going to work. I think it'll be an automatic system. I think it'll be fine. Worst case, we can put a switch and, like, you know, do a manual system again with two switches. But I think this is going to work great. I made that rail super long. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, let's see. 20 minutes, 2 seconds, so it should turn off. There we go, and then it goes back. 
But yeah, see, it doesn't do that first one. It's the only one it won't do. But it doesn't matter, because now at 4 a.m., it's not going to do this first row, because it's already on the sensor, but it'll do the next row. So that's just sort of the way it goes. And the only reason it, it works that way is because, like, the piston lengths can only go 45 blocks, so we're literally maxing out the space. If I wanted to make it work all the time, I'd have to either put in some extra logic to have this fire a second early, which... Let's see, when the alarm clock activates, it would have to be a, a trigger though. It would have to be a memory bit trigger because when the alarm clock activates, you'd want it to fire the water cannons once and then extend. And then when it deactivates, you'd want it to fire once and then retract. So you could do it. You just need a memory bit that clicks back and forth. Um, and it would be a lot more logic gates, which obviously we don't have. And we'd need some component kits to build them. But this works. This is perfect. It's an automatic watering system now. It's going to keep our crops watered every day. And it'll uh, make sure every day when we're back at the chunk, that our crops, you know, they get that full dose. It should work even when we're not at the chunk. Like, it won't, we won't come back to watered crops, but as soon as we get back, it should work. And then worst case, if it doesn't, um, yeah, we can just, I need like an auxiliary. Okay, yeah, hold on, this is what we need. I need to take this and put it through an ore gate, and we need an extra switch just to let us manually deploy the pistons. Um, if we want, so let's fix that up real quick. But yeah, we need an extra switch because the, the watering can, like the watering system, the jets are always on, let's say. They're always ready to shoot water. And if we just have an extra switch um, and an extra logic gate, then, oh my God, it takes two circuits. Okay, cool. But yeah, an extra switch and an extra logic gate. And then we can automatically have uh, all three of those, those pistons hooked into that instead. And then that way, if we really need to, you know, manually water the crops, because for whatever reason they don't water, we can just flick the switch a few times and get that working. Uh, it's going to deploy here. Should be here. No, other side. No, hello. There it is. Two logic gates. Perfect. Where's my switch? And done. All right, let's get this fully operational. So we'll just put another logic gate under here at the back, because why not? Let's put it you know, off to the side, and we'll make this an ore gate, and we'll put the switch for it straight on top of it. Just, you know, like that. And that'll connect into there, and then that goes to our three pistons. And it also goes to our alarm clock. So our alarm clock can trigger the piston movement, or manually, we can do this. Perfect. Seeing if that first crop's not water, we can just move it out, have it come back, and there we go. Awesome. Perfect. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's super cool. Fully automatic watering system. We'll never actually have to water our crops again. We should always just have a fully wet field. Kind of a waste of water, but I mean, it is scrap mechanics, so we don't actually, you know, consume any water. And uh, it's kind of a sweet system. This is actually, this is great. Got a little box of stuff here. And, you know, we've got our protected system there and everything's good to go. We'll be pumping forever. And this thing is just, this is actually sweet. This never runs out of water. It's kind of the most efficient way to do this. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys in the comments for continuously harassing me to get that done. Because that's honestly the best thing in the world. And uh, now this is fully set up and good to go and still misses, but a lot less. And hopefully we're just, you know, always ready to plant some stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time.